only child got this cancer and we promised her that we would do everything we could do to try to find a cure. She passed away four months after her diagnosis. Anne's daughter Olivia and people like Ted Kennedy and Gene Siskel all died too young from the deadliest type of brain tumor called a glioblastoma. I may have found the first new treatment in 30 years by repurposing a pill for altitude sickness that you can pick up at your local pharmacy. Right now, there is no cure for this brain cancer, which grows very fast, causes headaches, nausea, and seizures. Most patients die within a year. As both a doctor and a scientist, I know that creating a new medicine takes about 14 years and millions of dollars, and even then, many drugs still never make it to the patients in time. By the time it gets caught, it's moving so fast already through the brain. Olivia always said, if you just prolonged it, maybe you'll be in that window of opportunity when a more successful treatment is discovered. I was thrilled to discover that a common medicine used to help people with altitude sickness can make stubborn tumor cells more sensitive to chemotherapy. The idea with this drug is to ultimately add more uh, time uh, to the patient's life. It could certainly be extended to other kinds of cancers, so that's one of the exciting aspects of this project. You may recognize this medicine as a pill called Diamox. I take it myself every time I visit the Rocky Mountains. It's easy to take, cheap to make, and has little if any side effects. The most common is a temporary metal taste when you drink something carbonated like soda. I tested this in my lab and found that combining this drug with chemotherapy gives the treatment a turbo boost to shrink brain tumor cells better than can be done with a chemotherapy alone. And all patients have to do is take this pill twice a day. I'm partnering with institutions across Chicago and the Cree Satch's nonprofit Brain Up to see if this medicine works as well in humans as it does in the lab so that our patients can live longer. Hope is everything. It's providing people more time with their families and getting the best treatment opportunities that are possible.